Hi, I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity. In this video, we're going over the point of interest intelligent flight mode for DJI drones. We're going to be talking about how to set up the point of interest shot, what all of these numbers, sliders, and information means, and how to use point of interest to capture beautiful drone shots for a variety of projects and applications. First, let's go over the concept behind point of interest. The idea here is you use your drone to mark a desired subject as your point of interest, you back away from that subject creating a radius, and then your drone will automatically begin to orbit the defined point while keeping the camera focused on the subject. Having the drone on this automatic flight path frees up the pilot to focus more on cinematic camera moves, showcasing the subject in a variety of creative new ways. So now that you understand the premises behind point of interest, let's cover how to enable it and utilize it with your DJI drone. First, you want to make sure you have a DJI drone compatible with the point of interest intelligent flight mode. At the time of recording this video, this includes a range of drones from the Mavic Air to the Phantom 4 Pro. Once you know your drone supports point of interest, take to the sky and fly your drone directly above your desired subject. You want to tilt your camera straight down and make sure your subject is centered in the frame. Using one of the center point indicators can help with this and make sure everything is aligned properly. Next, you're going to want to go into your intelligent flight modes and select point of interest. You will get a brief overview of the controls. Here you can see the left stick will control your altitude and direction, while the right stick will control the radius and orientation of your drone. Next, DJI provides us with a description of the flight mode. It says, control the aircraft to fly above one position and set it as the point of interest the aircraft will record it. So we already flew our aircraft above our desired subject, so we can tap record POI at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so we have just set our point of interest. This will be the center of the circle that the drone will orbit around. Next, we wanna set our radius, and we can do this by using the right stick to back the drone away from the subject. The minimum radius is 17 feet, and once you pass that, you can see the number turn from red to blue. It's a good idea to adjust the tilt of the camera while you are doing this so you can get an idea of what the shot is going to look like. From here, you can also change the altitude of your drone. Depending on the project, you may want to fly lower to get more of a level shot of your subject, or you may want to fly higher and have a nice angled shot looking down at the subject from above. Next, we can control our speed and direction for the point of interest shot. Dragging the slider to the right increases the speed in the counterclockwise direction, while dragging the slider to the left increases the speed in the clockwise direction. What's awesome about point of interest is you can change your radius, altitude, and camera tilt while your drone is orbiting your subject, and the drone will always keep the subject centered in the frame. This allows for some pretty incredible cinematic footage and is perfect for showing off properties, landscapes, or other projects. For some shot ideas, you could start low to the ground and close to your subject, and then gradually pull back and up while tilting your camera down, creating an awesome reveal of the subject and the surrounding landscape. You can also increase the altitude while tilting your camera down, appearing to spiral up and above your subject. Even a simple tilt up can act as a cool reveal of your subject while your drone is circling it. And you can also use point of interest to set a very large radius and capture a landscape with a nice subtle sweeping motion. So that is the point of interest intelligent flight mode. Again, what makes this so great is it puts your drone on an automated flight path around your subject, allowing you to focus on creating cinematic camera moves to showcase your subject from a variety of heights and angles. Point of interest remains a powerful tool for drone pilots, and it helps deliver beautiful footage for a diverse range of projects. So that wraps up this video covering the point of interest intelligent flight mode. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.